Making those cardboard cutouts. Every everything with R and D on these one-off things. Uh, start with arts and crafts. Taking it back old school. Right, Michaels. Yep. <laughs> So what we're doing here now is basically nobody makes a B-series all-wheel drive compatible mount for a supercharger on this style. Um, so we actually have a Vortex supercharger that we're going to be using, but where this would typically mount on the B-series, it typically points down this way and then we'll sandwich into the case. But with the all-wheel drive transmission the bolt configuration of the case is completely different and the starter on that one would be in the back versus on the all-wheel drive that's in the front here so what we're gonna have to do is basically use this platform here where the supercharger would bolt in and we're gonna cut off all of the rest of this I just have it bolted into one of them with a little spacer just to get an idea of where we want it to sit so now that I have that in line basically I'm just framing out a new bracket that's going to sandwich against the back of this because we want to keep the face and everything of this true because this was the actual kit that it came with from Vortec and this kit's discontinued so they don't even make it anymore um, so we can't even get pieces to it so we're going to keep this bracket here but basically just chop it off here and then I'm going to build a bracket off of the back of this that is going to support the supercharger so I'm using the factory torque mount bolts so this one would go underneath there and it has three 17 millimeter bolts that are in there. So that's going to hold it and support it from underneath. And then I'm going to build basically a frame that's going to come up from here and bolt to the back. And then I'm also going to support it off of this other uh, transmission bolt here. So we got some extra also leverage there. So yeah, just make sure it's all solid. It's going to be quarter inch steel. And then we'll get that all powder coated nice and neat once we're all done with it. Uh, but just the beginning steps of getting that plate made so that we can move on to the next thing to get this thing ready for Honda Day. Chancy Fab Carl this hand or plasma is down, so he just. He said we're gonna have to make it by hand instead. Like, made it by hand instead. Same thing, but you know, they're gonna be part of the code, look brand new, right? Yep. And then what we're gonna do with it is also. Um, on top of powder coating it, we're going to try to try to cut in. I'm gonna kind of make it look a little bit nicer, but just wanted to get an idea as far as fitment wise to make sure it's gonna actually clear. You see how it's gonna touch this plate down here, and then we're gonna weld that, and then add some gussets from here, and then same on the the opposite side of it. But basically, it's gonna bolt in like that, and like I said, this is we'll basically gonna get a straight cut right here or something. Yep. Yeah, pretty much what I was thinking we'll end up doing is basically bolt the supercharger onto this and then just follow the line of this and just cut it off just like just that. Like that. Just, okay. you know, so it looks like it's one piece as well. Nice. Sweet. Check it out, Mike's tacking up his, um, his hook, his supercharger hook. Supercharger hook. So uh, basically just getting everything tacked up into place and then we're going to unbolt it all and clean it up and then weld it and from there we'll actually put on the supercharger and then just work on piecing together the rest of the components and figure out what we're going to do with the exhaust and everything you better hope that you never see me agitated i think about my actions plan i'm not evaluated that's how i end up on the top what's going on guys so we're actually about to scan the engine bay right now and it's too glossy it's coming back at the scanner like uh not good. We're gonna have to spray something, make it all matte-like. It'll, it'll probably get a good scan in after that. Oh, they scan, right? Yeah. Right, cool. And this spray right here comes wiped right off, right? Oh yeah, it comes right off. It's not. Oh shoot, I got the wrong one. Dang what? it! <laughs> Wait, what? That's the paint stripper. <laughs> yeah, this, this is just a little. Oh shoot, kill me. Yeah, this is just a little coat. Nothing crazy. It's just something so that the um, scanner can pick up. Okay, that's it. Let's see if we can pick it up real quick on the uh clear, you deserve to be great. I know it feels like things get in your way. Push through those. Oh there we go. Slowly but surely, it'll take some time. Oh nice. So so it scans it and it saves it, right? Yeah, it'll save it into like So no matter where your hand moves, it remembers the spot. Yeah, it is a little tricky. You have to sometimes play with it a little bit. 
Okay, the business. Yeah, not too much. It might go blind, but. Oh, it's coming out. I'm gonna have to leave here. I might have to do a couple runs on it, but um, yeah, that's pretty much the yeah. gist. Right. So you need a little bit more of that. Yep. Right and then you gotta go back, reach that guy. So you skin the skin. There we go. Come more to the right. Wrap more. More and more. Oh, that's it. That's the only piece you need right over. Okay. That's it for that. And yeah. then we'll probably do maybe two more. Should be good. Why well, you do two more names? Merge it'll, them all yeah, together. Yeah, we'll merge it all together. All right, cool. What's up, guys? So as you can see here, Omar uh, spray painted the engine bay. Uncle Sam's going to be very happy about that. And uh, this is the second half of the bracket for the supercharger for the all-wheel drive B-series transmission. So basically we just had to modify it a little bit so that we could get it to clear and be able to have more mounting points for it. So this is going into the case here and then this one is actually going all the way to the starter. So it's going to bolt all the way in from there as well. And then we have two more bolts that are going to sandwich this to the original portion of the Vortex supercharger plate that we had and ended up cutting the end of it off. So we're just going to go ahead and bolt everything else up from there. Mm -hmm. And then this part of it's done. We're going to take it all apart afterwards and then get it all powder coated. But the bracket and everything that we needed done for that is good. It's good right now. Yeah, so it's everything spins freely, no noise whatsoever. Um, so it's good to go. Chancy Fab at it again, fabbing up, fab, fab, fab. Man, we done did it. No, I am, bro. Alexa. Oh. Shut your stones. Um, so, you want to talk? What are you doing? Yeah, so we just cut this. I'm just joking. Mike, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Superchargers in, brackets in, as you guys saw earlier, giving you guys a, a bottom view. Everything looks good. Getting ready to mount the drive shaft up. Special drive shaft coming through. We're doing here now is we have the supercharger side bolted up everything secured as you can see um, rotates fine um, we had it with the supercharger off spinning freely as well as with the supercharger on so everything's in place where that needs to be but over here it doesn't actually line up with where it would bolt up to the head because this is an LSV tech setup in this car so this kit was made for a GSR so basically we're making an adapter plate that is going to bolt down here lower and then we are actually going to thread in to this plate here and then also bolt it from here and secure it so I'm making some spacers um, I already have the sizing and everything for those from the distance of this to the actual face of here so that this will be completely flush when we bolt it down and sandwich it all together. Um, and then we're going to tap these so that they're threaded for the bolts to go in here to the actual plate. And then we're going to bolt the backside here from the 14s as well with this adapter plate. All right, cool. What's up guys? I just prototyped this catch can cover on SolidWorks. Took a few hours. Went through it, add some screw holes, add a little hex design, add a little hole for the vent, and then I also added the vent itself right here. This is a little honeycomb shape with our logo on it. It's gonna go on top. It's gonna cover up the filter. We're just gonna print it out, see how it looks. Okay, it looks What's going on, man? We just finished all of it. I put it together. I actually had to print it out in two different pieces, as you can see. It was just way too big for the printer. I ended up throwing it together, put some screws on there, and the filter actually fits right perfect. Oh, you nice. can see I added some fiberglass to it. Let's see how it looks. It's gonna 
It's gonna come right here. It actually looks pretty good. This for for a first prototype, it's not bad. Not bad at all. And this guy, this is actually eventually gonna be billet right here. Of course, yeah, all plastic. aluminum billet. It's gonna be the top billet as well. So, okay, so what we have here, this is the, uh, the dry shaft we've been um, trying to get made for us. So finally, we got it done. So you can see here, these are all, these are aluminum. This right here, the inserts are um, um, aluminum. And then this is carbon fiber. It's actually a Honda part number, check it out. But um, using a 30K viscous, and then our billet care bearing and then of course this side here is um, carbon fiber carbon fiber and then this one here is the slip yep but this is the um uh, aluminum so it's pretty thick and we're gonna put it on this car here super light what, just it, this thing alone is it, here. Is it big as 1310 though right yeah these are all 1310 yeah these yeah. are all 1310 so the heaviest part is the, the viscous couple this, this part here but this thing here is like it's like, it's like super less, light, right? It's like a pound, like less than a pound. Literally, like this tubing. So, we're gonna test it out. Run some tests. Yep. And to see how well it works. And then after that, we'll, you know, someone reaches out, maybe. We're gonna try one on an all motor car just to lighten up the, uh, Everything. the whole drive line, yeah. Nice. So, Check it out, guys. Of course, this is going on titanium. You guys will see that H day. guys just a quick update on titanium in the last video we showed you guys that we um, installed all of the powder coated all-wheel drive components like the axles the rear diff mount kit the alpha 6 arms and the differential uh, we are still waiting for the um, brake calipers to return from powder coat so that we can install those on the advent wheels um, in the last video I did make a mistake when I mentioned about the drive shaft this is our a custom carbon fiber drive shaft. However, I am running a 30K viscous coupler and not a 60K viscous coupler. So I stand corrected. It is running the billet carrier bearings and billet carrier bearing brackets, as you can see. And since then, um, we've uh, started working on the motor. We're doing a supercharger. We've got the uh, type R header mocked up here. As you can see, it doesn't clear the transfer case. So we did have to notch that out and eventually um, try to figure out a way to get it to clear uh, the transfer case. And of course, these uh, lines will be uh, relocated, probably shifted over to this channel so that we could accommodate the oval custom exhaust. Um, our goal is to get this car ready for H-Day so that you guys can see it at H-Day in person. Everything is coming along, so stay tuned and we'll keep you guys posted. Thank you. It's official. We got our female drag, all motor, all wheel drive. Nice. <laughs> it's official. She's got um, some S1 apparel. The official. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, this is just the beginning. <laughs> I can't even get them brakes. I'll work back and try. It's good, man. Check it out, guys. Just in her product coated. Mounts. Check out the dipstick. Wee! There's a bunch of powder coating to do so. We got Brake Tuck King Johnny here, all the way from Orlando, hey, okay. doing his thing, doing his thing. If you guys ever in the need of a brake tuck, something clean, Johnny does all that stuff, man. He does everything. So you can ask him. He's taking care of titanium right now. You guys are gonna see that when he's done. He also um, did some stuff right here on the MK1. You know, it does pretty, pretty good job. Ooh, Chancy fabulous thing. So uh, what we're doing now is basically trying to make the header clear. So we're making an all-wheel drive header for the supercharged 
titanium build EG. Um, so basically just started with a big tube header that we had that was V-series and then we had to cut it down and then just basically building a new collector that's gonna come to a two and a half inch V-band. And then from there, we're going to transition it into a three inch oval exhaust so that we can clear it underneath the car and bring it all the way back. All the way back, okay, cool. Yep. Look, looking good so far, bro. Okay, so we got the powder coated uh, calipers back from powder coat. We would. <laughs> powder coated calipers back from powder, powder coat. coat. Get it? <laughs> And back assembled, got new seals in there, new bleeders, and we have one already on the car. Man, those wheels look sick. On all bolted up with the bracket that it comes with. Looks nice. And so we found out the Advans. Advans in the back. That are not going to fit because they're 15, so we had to put the Volks, which are 16s, and then they clear the... The T37s? Yeah. It clears perfect. Damn, I see that. Okay. Oh, there we go. And then it clears. Oh no, look. 16s, no 15s. Oh yeah, it has to be 16s though. Yep, yep. T37 cups, not just T37s. T37 cups. Look at it guys, check it out. Still look good because it's white and you know, look at it. <laughs> hey, it is. Just gotta raise the car up a little bit, right? No, you, we're putting you, the fenders on it. But you know, usually with big brake kits, you always gotta go, not always gotta go 16, but you always gotta go 16 and up, kind of. I think so. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I don't think you could be a 15 right now. I know, I know. But check it out, guys, in case you didn't you forget all the inside look. Minty mint. These back ones already on, you guys saw. Gotta put pads in there, but. but yeah, definitely coming together. And it looks nice. Let's see, yep. What do you guys think? Can you have the oil return? So, um, yeah, basically what we were doing now is just, we had to modify the oil return from the turbo setup that was on here previously. So we shortened it up a little bit so that we can get the right angle and everything for the drain that's gonna come over off of the supercharger now. And we just wanted to make sure that it's gonna clear the uh, header that we modified to fit the transfer case. So that's all done, welded up now. So we're gonna go ahead and put the header on. And then after that, we can finish the drain line. The feed line's already in. And we actually just got the supercharger housing back from powder coat. Oh, so oh, that's, that's gonna nice. be going on as well. Sweet. And also, Mike finished up super nice. Well cut, well style. Good. Nice, just straight chancy fab. And I think you just changed the, um, the oil pan gasket too, right? Yeah, oil pan gasket, just because we had to take the oil pan down so that we could shorten this up and the then weld a dash eight yeah, bung on there for the return. Nice, put that up. Supercharger, looking nice too. The exhaust, of course, is going to go oval. Of course, guys, you guys remember we um, we tried the Wilwood brake, the Wilwood brakes in here, and tried it with the Advans, didn't fit, but the Volks cup fit nice, perfect. Look at that, a little bit of space left. Volks bulk is his cup. You're just gonna kind of snug it up, right? Yeah, just just two of them snugged up, just so we can see from there. Here, here. Um, where did you go? Okay. So this bracket is gonna come off. This is actually from an aftermarket sway bar that was on here. So this is gonna come off because what we're gonna do is basically bring the exhaust right down underneath here, 
and we're going to move the fuel lines that you see here so it's it's going to swoop right underneath and then yeah. it's going to transition into an oval we're going to have oval straight back down this little tunnel area where it's dipped in so that we got better clearance underneath the car right. um, and then also with the carbon fiber drive shaft we just want to keep all the heat away from that because the way that these are made is it's actually held together by glue I, my um, cra some crazy that's yeah like crazy three, day, glue. three days three days yeah. like glue. <laughs> so uh that's it with the header. All right, cool guys. Got check it out. Check it out. Started. Everything else is done. It's welded up. Nice. I didn't see it clear to transfer case. Here's a pretty nice guys. Look at that. Look at that clearance. And then also, this is the highest I could get it to tuck. As you can see, literally, it's to the point where it's almost yeah. touching the subframe here. No, it's like with right the there. Piping. But I wanted to tuck it up as high as possible so that we have good ground clearance underneath the car because that's the last thing you want to hit. Yeah, yeah. You know the header. Yeah. So you got good. You got. Should have after the wheel goes up. Should be. Should be yeah. pretty good. Yeah, it'll be good. And the sweeper is here. We gotta get out of the way. We'll get away from the sweeper. The warhog. <laughs> All right, guys, all right, guys, check it out. That's the update for now. Everything looking nice on this. See you guys at H Day. Like, subscribe. We got the windows over here getting done up. What's up, guys? What's hey, up? You doing? Good, good. Mm -hmm. What's up, Mark? Shout it out, Mark. Uh, Bay Area Glasswork. Bay Area Glasswork, the best in the Bay Area. Not only just the Bay Area, pay me enough, you'll come to you wherever you are. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, he's helping out right here. Check it out. Sweet. So like, subscribe guys. We only give you the best. Best quality work, best glass, best everything. Racing for the pink slips and ain't no 12 to catch us so. K swap the world till we spin the globe. K20 MR2 and SXCRX with the K24. Repping that EF. Go back to the days of the HF, DX, the EX. Before them green underglows. If you ain't see it, you must be running slow. Say you ain't something we can't afford, but we got that cam to cord. That's this one. All wheel drive, got them kind of scamming. All wheel clipping, four, four wheel clipping, clipping. This one, all wheel drive. Them wheels are always gripping, them wheels are never slipping. S1 all wheel drive, got the mind